Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the total number of ways to reach a cell in a matrix. So let's see, see this is the matrix, it is 4 cross 4 matrix and suppose you want to reach to cell 2, 3. So the cell position is 2, 3 means second row and third column. So you want to reach to this cell. And if you start from the cell 0, 0, then how many number of ways are there to reach this cell? So that is the problem statement. So let's see. Let's first write the first way. See, from A to B, B to C, C to D, to H and H to L. So this is one path. Then the second path can be A to E, E to I, I to J, J to K and K to L. This can be the second path. Here you have to remember from a cell you can only go to the right cell or to the down cell. Means you can only go to the right direction or to the downward direction. Okay. Only these two transitions are permitted. So let's see what we can do here. So one more way is from A to B, B to F, F to G, G to K and K to L. So means we can also reach with this path. Okay. So in this way for each cell there are number of ways to reach that cell. And we are going to find out those number of ways. Okay. So for that we are going to use dynamic programming. Now. This is the matrix and we are going to find out the number of ways for each cell in the matrix. As you know, we are starting from the cell 0, 0. Now, there is a base condition for every dynamic programming problem. So, what is that base condition in this case? See, to reach the first cell, means the cell 0, 0, obviously there is only one way. Okay, that is the starting point means we directly reach to that cell then to reach the cell 0 1 this cell for this cell also there is only one way that is to go from cell 0 0 to 0 1 means from 1 to this cell so that one way then for the cell 0 2 0 2 there is only one way is to start from 0, 0, go to the right and again to the right. Here comes the 0 to cell. This one path. Then for 0, 3, also there is only one way. Is to start from 0, 0, go to the right, right and right. Okay. So, in this way, this is one base condition. And also for all the column cells, there is only one way. Because you start from 0, 0 and you go down to these corresponding cells. So this is only one path to reach the cells in the first row and the first column. And this is the base condition. So you can hard code the values for the first column and the first row. You can hard code the values to 1. Okay. Now. Let's start solving from cell 1, 1, means this cell. Let's start solving for this sub matrix that is 3 by 3. Okay. Now, for 1, 1, for this cell, as you can observe, you can come from the upper cell and reach this cell, or you can come from the left cell and you can reach this cell. Okay. So, for this cell, there are two paths. One is from upper cell and the other one is from the left cell. Okay. Now, how many number of ways are there to reach these two cells? Okay. So, here is the one way and for this cell also it is one way. So, we add the number of ways. 1 plus 1. So, it becomes 2. So, total there are two ways to reach this cell. Okay. 
as we go further you will perfectly understand this now let's go to the next cell c for cell 1 2 for this cell you can either come from the upper cell or from the left cell okay to reach to this left cell there are two ways and to reach to this upper cell there is one way and we add those number of ways 2 plus 1 is 3 so if we start from cell 0 0 then there are three ways to reach this cell okay now similarly for cell 1 3 we can go from the left cell or from the upper cell means 3 plus 1 so that becomes 4 so if you start from cell 0 0 then you can reach cell 1 3 means this cell from 0 0 you can reach in 4 ways ok so there are total 4 ways similarly let us do it fast now see for this cell 1 plus 2 the left cell plus upper cell so 1 plus 2 is 3 again for this cell 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 so that is 6 for this cell 6 plus 4 is 10 then for this cell see 1 plus 3 is 4 for this cell 4 plus 6 is 10 and for this cell 10 plus 10 is 20 so to reach to the last cell in this matrix which is 4 by 4 there are total 20 ways ok so in this way for every cell we can find out the number of ways to reach that cell from cell 0 0 now let us write the dynamic programming formula for as you know at first we hard code the values in the first row and first column and for the next cells this is the formula t of ij is equal to see what we are doing we are adding the value from upper cell and the left cell so what is the upper cell t of i minus 1 j because that is the same column and the upper row plus the left cell left cell means t of i because that is the same row and the left column so j minus 1 see i minus 1 for upper row and here j minus 1 for left column so with this formula you can find out the number of ways for each cell and you have to run this formula in a loop for i is equal to 1 to n and the nested loop for j is equal to 1 to n so with this nested loop if you put this statement inside the inner for loop here then you can get the number of ways to reach every cell hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you